so now there is no exception in the console so if we click delete we can see that python are you sure you want to delete python cs and in java so in java it is showing python not java so let's fix this so that is happening because all the model have the same um, id called example model so let's have let's make it little different so let's add the book id along with it so let's use this build sign let's call it model id dollar book id and use the same as air okay so so now let's see that let's refresh so here we have now python python java java okay so this is fixed so now let's let's move this yes no in the middle so for that let's do justify and then center okay so now let's make some action let's do some action on yes okay so on yes let's say on click on delete click enter let's say on delete button click handler so for this let's say function so here we simply go and delete that delete that book from the from the backend service so by using the exios so now use exios not exios we simply have delete request from book service dot now and now now we are deleting book by using their book id so we'll simply make a request to books slash now we need the book id okay so here so this basically delete that okay so now let's go and delete it so on no there is no action okay so uh, delete no there is no action on delete yes now it's saying response is not defined okay so let's go and check that delete so in the delete response is not defined anyway let's we don't need a response okay so In the console let's go so python is already deleted there is an exception but the book is already deleted from the backend so that's why it's not showing on the front end so now let's go and delete the java say yes and now it has deleted if we refresh the java will will not show up again as you can see the java is not showing up again so this the user explicitly has to click the refresh button okay so now so now fix that so for that we need to fix it so basically we need to add the refresh button refresh capability whenever there is a delete uh, button click okay so for that the index need to be refreshed okay so now let's have one const one state say refresh set refresh okay and 
use a state let's say false okay so there is a let's create one function that will just toggle the refresh okay whether it doesn't matter whether it's a true or false if if there is a toggle if there is a let's say request to refresh it will refresh okay so let's create a function called function is refresh required it will simply set refresh to whatever the previous value if it is true it will it will make it false if it will false it will make it true and since it's a state there is a state change so if there is a state change then this the index will reload and if it is if it is reloading then it will fetch again all the books okay to fetch successfully all the book on the refresh state change let let put that into the use effect okay so now whenever there is a delete a refresh will automatically happen but for that let's trigger it once it's deleted so now pass this refresh function into the card okay so now the card will have is the refresh required function as well and let's call this function after the after making a delete request okay so now it is saying that is is refresh required is not is refresh required okay so this is re, it's not required it's required okay yes so now if i delete this okay it is this didn't work so let's fix this again to fix this we need to add uh, await in the delete request so let's add await and make it async so now this should fix let's go and delete as you can see it has deleted and the page is auto refresh so now let's uh, restart our uh, backend service so that all four um, entries get auto populated in the database so right now you can see um all it's empty so now restart so the runner will auto update all four again so now you can see we have all four data and this will appear again okay so now you can so now if we delete you will see that the page is auto refresh after click after deleting the python see now if i delete javascript ruby refresh okay so now the delete is uh, working as expected so in no there is nothing in cross there is nothing and if i say yes it will be deleted and now let's fix what's happened on the update okay so before update let's have this add functionality where we can add a new book okay so let's go and create add book okay so in the add book let's have our one simple form okay so let first create uh, some uh, state variables to hold these hold all the parameters for the new for a new book okay so for that let's create const book id set book id is equals to use state and book id will be empty in the beginning then const book uh, let's say book uh, title set book title because to use state set title will be can also be empty const url set book image url to state this will also be empty in the beginning and then const book price set book price use 
state since it's a number so the value we can go with is zero okay now let's create a simple bootstrap form so for that let's go to the bootstrap and then let's go to this form and copy this this is a very simple basic form let's go in this date accordingly okay so first change class to class name so for dev change this change this change this okay for input so the input type will be text and this will be enter book id call it book id this for book id let's remove the placeholder we can have the value equals to book id and let's replicate replicate this three more times so this one will be for okay this one will be book id yeah so this one is for book title this one will be for book image url this one will be book price and in html there is no for this for won't work so for that there is something called html for so let's update all these are these four places and change this label so this will be book title book image url and book price the value will be book id book title image url price okay, as you can see we have a very simple form let's include this into a form tag and have a very and have a very simple button button type submit Let's add some bootstrap classes btn btn primary and let's shorter this because this is quite wide so let's put this in a div and make it container yeah let's drop it down um, basically add some let's say margin of 5 so empty 5 and let's have one what we call a header book and let's also have a class d5 and text center make it text press okay 
so this will be like add new book now on submit now on submit so so the uh, so the default behavior of the submit is is make a post request so let's prevent this first of all and do action accord according to our need so function and prevent the default behavior of submit so a dot prevent default and now what we want to do is basically we want to make a post request to our backend okay so for that we need to create a payload and our payload is book so let's create a book so const book equals to an op book id book id book title is book title book image url is equals to book image and then book price book price so this is our payload and now simply made make a now simply make a post request so for that we can say post request and where we are making post request we are making post request to books and our simple payload which is book and this is also uh, you can say a, a post request uh, basically going to the backend service so let's await it and make it async and once this is done once a post request is made let's move back to our home page okay so for that we need a router okay so const router is equals to use route router and in the router we can directly go back to our router dot push and where we want to go we want to go to the index page okay so here we fill the details and after pushing the submit we'll move back to our main page so now let's test it out so let's go and check a book called c sharp okay so let's copy the image book image okay so this is not updating so let's make it a controlled component okay so for that on change now what we will do is we will simply do set book id E dot target dot value and this could I can just copy paste in all except one small change and that will like set book title set book image url and set book price so now i will be able to add the details okay so let's go and copy this image paste here book title is she sharp 
okay and book id let's say 10 price is 11.5 let's submit so i've submitted it and we are at the root uh, index page so now let's reload and see whether it is coming or not so it is not coming so looks like there is some issue so let's go and fix that the price value is a number so the so the book price is a number so let's change it to number and test it again so let's go to the add book let's say let's say 17 book is again she sharp 11.5 submit so now the issue is showing is the relative url dot replace is not a function okay so in the ad we are making a post request in post relative url okay so the issue is this is you are small l instead of other capital l make it capital l now let's try it again now this time it has succeeded so i think it have added so let's go to the bookstore and now you can see a sharp book here 